Clinic means drugs. Want drugs. Dad, why is your stress elevated? Do you know I'm here? All right. I would love to make a little boy cry. Where's he at? Where's he at? I wanted to watch him cry. Who is this fucking lady? Excuse me, I'm just drinking from Brian Hardin. Leave me alone. You don't belong. All Lady Dithers can get it first. But before we do anything, we're going down this slide. Killed everything in sight. Yay! Oh, alrighty. Whoop. Oh, quantum! You little fucking bitch! Oh, he's dead already. I fucked up. I didn't know he was dead. Pardon me. Pardon me, sweet angel. What are you doing? Magazine. Which one is this? I think it's barter lockpick. Oh, okay. All right, all right. Oh, guys, I don't know what just happened with Sharon. Is he really? Is he good? Is he pissed? Are we gonna be able to get him back? Are we gonna be able to get Sharon back? Oh God, no. I just locked myself in here. Open it back up. You guys know I have an obsession with quantum. Ooh, looky, looky. Activate door control pod. I love vault doors. I love them. They make me so happy. I like watching them open and close. So cool! Oh, daddy! Where? To Vault 112, resident. According to sensors, you have arrived 202.3 years I'm behind late. schedule. Sorry, I'm late. Please redress in your Vault Tech issued Vault suit before proceeding. Once dressed, please proceed down the stairs to the main floor so that you may enter your assigned Tranquility Lounger. Wow. Please dress in your Vault 112 suit. <clears throat> Remove all other articles of clothing to prevent damage to the equipment. Thank you for your cooperation. Hello, man. Wow. Clinic. Drugs. Clinic means drugs. Want drugs. I don't know why I'm talking like that. Want drugs, take jumpsuits, because hoarder. Wow. Overseer's office. Hello, ma'am. Let me talk to that one. Dang it, I can't get in there. That's stupid. Oh, I guess not. What's this? Equipment. Oh my god, I did it. Open Vault Tech access hatch. Opening hatch and wait, what? It's already drugs. Bombs, guns, ammo. Ah! Okay, we got everything out of here. <clears throat> Is this everything that's in here? Who are you? 
broken tranquility lounger. Oh God, I got scared. Uh. Oh, look, look at the, we see the, we, we can see the TV. There's another person. There's another, it looks, they look like women, but they're bald. It's dead! It's dead! Subject unknown. Display resident status. Pulse, 84 beats per minute. Blood pressure, 120 over 85. Temp, 98.8. Respiratory rate, 19 per minute. Warning, possible program corruption. Unable to identify resident ID. Stress level, elevated. Possible program corruption. Unable to verify resident ID. Please consult a supervisor. Dad, why is your stress elevated? Do you know I'm here and I am upset with you? Is that why your stress is elevated? You know I'm coming for you. Coming for him. What's this? Another person. Empty. Oh, this is what I'm supposed to get in. You guys ready? Please take a seat in the tranquility lounger. Dog meat. Be a good boy while I'm gone. Be a good boy, okay? Here we go. I'm bringing my bat. Accept your perceived reality. Did you see that? Hey there, sport. Beautiful day, isn't it? Say, you should go talk to Betty. She's waiting for you over on the playground. Have fun, sport. George. Noose, noose bomb. Oh, Doc. Good doggy. <clears throat> Hello. Oh, someone new to play with. What good luck I have lately. I was just starting to get bored. Oh, we're <clears throat> going to have so much fun. Where am I? This is Tranquility Lane. We all live here. And now, so do you. Is this some kind of game? Do you like games? I love to play games. I know a really fun game we can play. What the hell's going on here? We're going to play a game now, silly. That's what's going on. I'm looking for my father. Have you seen him? Gee, I don't know. What's he like? Kind of a jerk. He left me in a vault by myself to be murdered. Didn't tell me where he was going. Didn't even leave me any kind of weapon. He gave me a BB gun on my birthday and I shot him in the face with it. Maybe that's probably why. Probably why he left me, actually. Now that I think back, it's probably the reason. He's an older guy, around 50 or so. And he's new here, too, isn't he? Oh, boy. He's your daddy, huh? I had no idea. That makes this even more fun. Let's play. No games. You tell me where my father is now, you little brat. Oh, don't be mean. That's not a good way to start. I said we're going to play a game. So that's what we're going to do. A game? Okay, I guess. I knew <laughs> you would. It's a really simple game. All you have to do is make Timmy Newsbum cry. Timmy Newsbomb, who's that? He's the only other kid that lives here besides you. And you. He's a big crybaby. You'll see. Make him cry, and then come back here so we can talk some more. All right. I would love to make a little boy cry. Where's he at? Hiya. Hi there. I'm Timmy. Want to play? Have you seen my dad? Your dad? Nope. 
I haven't. I'm not gonna do anything to explore. Lost? Um, what can you tell me about the neighborhood? It's okay, I guess. I don't really have nobody to play with, except for Betty, and she's kind of, well, she's mean. Nice. See you later. Milk. Teddy must have drawn that. This brochure promotes the Hoffman Training Academy with, with the tagline, turn the delinquents of today into the leaders of tomorrow. Okay. Hiya. Hi. Want to play? Look what I found. You're getting sent to military school. What? No, I'm not. Look, I've got the brochure right here. You're going, pal. But, but I don't want to go away. I don't want to leave my mommy. Where's he at? I wanted to watch him cry. Where the fuck did he go? He just left. We didn't even get to see the outcome of being evil to that bo poor innocent boy. What the hell? No rats. All right, well, free health top up. I'll do it. Who is this fucking lady? Excuse me, I'm just drinking from a Hydrant. Leave me alone. You don't belong here. You're not supposed to be here. Fuck off. It's not real. None of it. It needs to end. The suffering must end. Get away from me, you crazy old bat. You're the only one who can end it. You must end it, don't you see? You're the only one who can disable the failsafe. What failsafe? What the hell are you talking about? It's in the abandoned house. He doesn't want us going in there because he's afraid we might find it. It's the only terminal to the outside. The only way to shut the whole thing down. You've got to find it. Good day. What was her name? Old Lady Dithers. Can I go back to drinking from my Can I go back to drink? What's wrong with these people? Hello, sweetie. How are you? You see my dad? No, sweetie, I haven't. I'm sure he'll come looking for you before long, though. What? What can you tell me about the neighborhood? Well, George and I have been here, why, as long as I can remember. I have to go now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Good day. Hey, you did it. Good job. I didn't get to hear it, though. A clever approach. I'm not sure I would have considered it. Very encouraging. Your reward for winning the game is to ask a single question. I will answer honestly and frankly. Ah, yes. A predictable question, I suppose. Your father is here, in Tranquility Lane. He is quite safe for now, though he can no longer hound me with his incessant questioning. Perhaps you will see more of him in time. What do I have to do to see him? Uh, now that is just the sort of question you should be asking. You understand that I am in control then? Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> you are far more promising than your father. <clears throat> what do you want me to do? Pay a visit to the Rockwells. They are very happily married. And I'd like you to change that. Okay. Put an end to their marriage. And we'll talk. <laughs> That's it. No problem. Excellent. I so enjoy that can-do spirit. All right, let's go. Break up the Rockwell's mar marriage without killing either of them. Oh, that's the abandoned house. We don't want to go there. There's a dog house over here. Okay. Thought maybe a dog would just appear. This is the old lady's house. supposed to be here. He can't stop you. Chill out, lady. Oh, 
Wow, it looks like Timmy drew paintings for everyone here. All right, let's find the Rockwell house. Anderson. Simpson. Rockwell. Take the rolling pin. Beautiful day, isn't it? Go to the basement last. What's up here? Hi, honey. Hi, Roger. Are you planning on spending the evening down in the basement again? Janet Rockwell's diary. I just don't know what to do anymore when Roger's not in that stupid basement. He's outside sweet talking that hussy Martha Simpson. He claims there's nothing between them, but I know it's all a lie. I found a woman's pendant once on Roger's workbench. But of course I said nothing. That's me, Janet Rockwell, prim and proper housewife, living the perfect life here in Tranquility Lane. Some days I wish I really had beat her to death with that rolling pin. Then Roger would know I'm the only girl in the world. Bye. Bye. What the fuck was that? Let's go to the basement now. Now I'm excited. You have nothing interesting to place on the desk. Always in the basement. <clears throat> okay, hold on. Was it Simpson? Right, Simpson? Good day. This one. Why do you have two refrigerators, lady? People around here should mind their own business. What can you tell me about the neighborhood? I like it well enough, I suppose. Mabel is good company most of the time. And, well, the other neighbors are mostly very nice. Have a great day. To be fair, I have two fridges, so I don't know why I was so judgy about it. The underwear. Say, Martha. Mabel, I meant to ask you, have you seen the new Robco catalog? I thought you might be interested, since you don't seem to like your Mr. Handy. She is a Mr. I Handy? Don't want a new one. I don't even really want the one I have now. I don't trust it, Martha. Not a bit. You're really? very smart. It's fine. There's no reason to feel uncomfortable. It's just another machine. Well, maybe you feel that way. I really don't like it. What if something goes wrong? Oh, Mabel, you worry too much. It's fine. All right, let's go put these underwear down here. Place the underwear on the desk. Hell yeah. Good day. Good day to you. See my dad? He disappeared on you, huh? Don't worry, I'm sure you'll find him soon. What can you tell me about the neighborhood? Heck of a place to live. Janet and I, well, we're quite happy here. Are you? Take care now. Oh, wifey! Good day to you. Have you seen my dad? Your dad? No, I haven't. I'm sure he's around here somewhere. He 
Better come down to the basement. There's something you should need to what see. What were you doing in our basement? What's down there? Trust me, it's important. Okay, if you say so. Let's go. After you. Go, go, go. Fly, fly. What's this? Women's clothing? Down here? What? What the hell is this? It looks like Roger is a fan of women's clothing. But this isn't mine. What is this doing here? Maybe it's his, you know, for him to wear when no one is looking. Oh my God, Roger, he, he wouldn't, but. Are you still good? That breaks up the marriage. Where'd she go? Beautiful day, isn't it? What is she doing? What is she do what is she doing? Why did she run here? Whose house is this? Whose house is this? How may I serve you, mistress? Why did she run in here? Why'd you run in here for? Poor Janet and Roger. You have turned out to be quite resourceful, it seems. I am slightly impressed. I enjoy your company far more than your father's. I'm cooler. He responded quite negatively to my request. Typical. Gotta admit, this is kind of fun. What can I do next? I did what you wanted. I've got to admit, what can I do next? I am pleased to see I'm not the only one being entertained. Yeah, that's what I thought too. You are far more agreeable than your father. If you wish for more, then so be it. But let's raise the stakes a bit this time. I'd like you to kill Mabel. Murder! Hans. But do be creative about it. Beating her to death just won't suffice. Put some effort into it. She'll never see it coming. Music to my ears. Hiya, kiddo. What's the good word? Have you seen my dad? Can't say that I have, kiddo. Don't worry. I'm sure he'll turn up. What can you tell me about the neighborhood? Nice place. Real nice. Everyone's friendly and always happy to lend a hand. What can you tell me about Mabel Henderson? Fond of her gadgets, she is. Heck, I can't count the number of times I've had to fix that newfangled robot of hers. I keep telling her to order some new parts. The motivator goes bad on that one, and she's going to have a real problem on her hands. Bye-bye! The Henderson estate is in tip-top shape, young miss. Have a wonderful day. This is her, right? Where is she? This old gas oven could be tampered with to knock the pilot light fixture loose. But that could be really dangerous. Initiate cleaning program, security program, disable security screening. Okay, I don't want to do any of this yet. Oven. All right, here we go. This old gas oven can be tempered with to knock the pilot fixtures. It's really dangerous. Fiddle with the pilot light. You fiddle with the pilot light and the gas pipe. The smell of gas fills the air. Oh my God, are we gonna die too, ma'am? Good day to you. Oh, I hear you bake really tasty pies. Can you make one for me? Well, sure I can, sweetie. Let me just go light the oven to get it warming up. Oh my God. I think she's dead. Guess what I did? Oh, oh, quasi evil. 
always for a laugh. Appliances certainly can be dangerous, can't they? You are most resourceful, and you certainly do get results. You have exceeded my expectations. And now, we come to the last tasks that I have for you. Succeed, and you shall be granted whatever you What need. is it? Wait, I can't wait. What do you want me to do? Your enthusiasm is inspiring. It's a shame you didn't arrive early. No, this is so fun. Now, you will become the pint-sized slasher and kill everyone in Tranquility Lane. Behind the abandoned house, there is a doghouse. Inside that doghouse are the knife and the mask you will take up. <laughs> Hi, Dead Eyes. Who the hell is the pint-sized slasher? Sounds like fun. I thought you might find it amusing. It draws upon an old urban legend. A story told of a campfire many years ago. The residents have all heard the story and will fear you. Go forth and make me proud. Woohoo! Oh! Oh! Oh my god! I hit the pit boy. Oh my god, that is so cute. We look absolutely fucking terrifying. All right, we'll do this in third person. It'll be more fun. All right, so we're gonna kill everyone. Who's first? Where'd they all go? Don't kill me. <laughs> Please. Please. All Lady Dithers can get it first. Where you at? Please leave me alone. Stop. Ah! Hi, champ. I've got snacks. I'll be on me best behavior. Cheer up. <laughs> she just fucking exploded everywhere. Oh, God. This is the best. I love being evil. You, come here. Come back, no, Bill. Please. Bill, get your ass over here. Bill, Bill, take it like a man. All right, got him. Oh my god, that was so funny. Was we didn't go in here yet? Simpson, nope. Not nah, Bill. Come here, loser. Was I guess it's gone now. No, Rockwell, we haven't killed them. No, the please! Get away! The slut! Ah! <laughs> they explode! I can't. Where'd you go? Did you go into the basement to put your... Ah! I want him to say the pipe fight slasher again. No. I guess Please. it was nothing. Get away. Run! It's the pipe size slasher. Yep. Come back here. Come back here. Oh god, help! Help! Oh yeah, run into a corner. It's run. It's the pint-sized slasher. <laughs> you guys, they turned their son into a gnome because I can't kill children. Look at that. Two of them? Wait, um, the game broke. We already fucking killed Mabel. Why the fuck is Mabel here? What an idiot. The oh. pint sized slasher. Someone. 
<laughs> that everyone. Oh, we did it! Most enjoyable. Most enjoyable indeed. I haven't felt this exhilarated in years. Ah! Itch. That sure was fun. I had the distinct impression you enjoyed yourself. We are like you and I. Now, you ask for the means to leave Tranquility Lane, and so I grant it to you. The door is open. You are, of course, welcome to stay a bit longer if you like. I've given you permission to leave. What did she say? I've given you permission to leave. I'm even being so gracious as to allow your father to exit as well. His presence here failed to amuse me some time ago. But before we do anything, we're going down this slide. Oh. Let's try that again. Eee! That's not as fun as I thought it was gonna be. Alright. Let's let's leave. Shouldn't you be oh my god. You've saved me. I was afraid I'd be trapped in there forever. It's so good to see you, but what are you doing here? You left me in a vault of people who wanted to fucking murder me! I want answers from you! You came all this way and risked your life for answers. They must be important to you. What the hell is wrong with you? Why did you just leave me like that? That's where you belonged. No! You were an adult, capable of fending for yourself. What? You had a good life ahead. No, of you. I didn't. What's out here is my task, my responsibility. I never wanted you to have any part of this insanity. Is it because I shot you in the face with a BB gun on my tenth birthday? What about me? What am I supposed to do? Yes. What about you? Why, in fact, are you outside the vault at all? I don't even want to know how you got out. Oh yeah, you don't. As much as I appreciate your help, you were supposed to stay there, to make a life for yourself there, not out here. Screw the ball. I didn't need that place. Is that so? Yeah. You're 19 years old. Are you so sure you know what you want from life already? I suppose it doesn't matter now. I suspect there's no going back for either of us. We'll just have to forge on ahead, won't we? What the fuck? First he says that we are an adult, we can handle ourselves, and then he's saying that we don't know what we're... We're only 19 and we don't know what to what we want out of life. What the fuck, dad? I don't want to go right now, but I I meet him there later, right? Really? You're not going to join? Not right me. now. Coming all this way after me, I'd have thought you'd want to help. I have to keep going. I can't stop now. I'm going back to Rivet City. Meet me there if you change your mind. Okay, I think I can. I It would be good to work with you, honey. Can we just talk for a minute? Of course, honey. What's on your mind? How could you leave me like that? What the hell were you thinking? I wanted you to be safe. I didn't want this for you. A life out here in this godforsaken war zone. I couldn't tell you what I was doing because I didn't want you following me. A plan which clearly was not as successful as I imagined it would be. Is it about mom? Yeah. All right, why would you put yourself at risk like this? Do you have some sort of death wish? What? No, no, of course not. I just... This is important work. Clean water can change the lives of so many thousands of people. It's worth the risk to help them. Yeah, helping people. What about helping your own daughter? I can understand that you're angry. You have a right to be. Perhaps the choice I made wasn't the right Not one. at all. At the time, I thought I was doing what was best for you. Absolutely not. How could abandoning me be the right choice? Because I'm evil, probably. For almost 20 years now, I've done everything I can to see that you have a good life. The vault wasn't perfect, to be sure, but it was the safest place in the wasteland. That's why I took you there in the first place. I didn't see it as abandoning you. 
I saw it as moving on, knowing you were safe. Uh, just forget it. Let's get this. <laughs> you know what? Fuck you. You know what? Fuck you, Dad. I'm sorry you feel that way. Um. What's the big deal about water anyway? The vault you grew up in had its own water purification system. Clean water was never a worry. Out here, things are different. Water out here is never clean and almost always irradiated. It's barely able to sustain any kind of normal life. If we can change that, humanity has a real chance at rebuilding, starting over. So what happened to Project Purity? In the year before you were born, things became difficult. There had always been something of a mutant problem in the city, but it became worse. They attacked more frequently and more aggressively. Support for the project eroded as time went on, when we couldn't produce any significant results. Progress came to a halt. And then you were born. Your mother and I had talked about what to do when that time came, but then I... We lost her, and I had to make a decision. I chose to leave. From what I understand, things happened quickly after that. It became too dangerous for the others to stay, and so the project was abandoned. Dr. Lee and her team left for what became Rivet City, and Project Purity has sat waiting ever since. How did Mom really die? Please tell me I killed her. I understand that you have reason to question a good many things I've told you Let's over see. the years. Let's see. See what he says. But your mother... Okay, I've I did kill her. never lied to you about what happened. Not once. She died giving birth to you. My fault. <laughs> it was a difficult time. Don't worry. She it's was so eager to meet you, to make a place for you in the world. If nothing else, please believe that she loved you very much. I'm sure she did. Uh... I have to go, Dad. Be careful, sweetie. Done! All right. Let me get out now. Look at our legs. Dog meat, you waited this whole time, you little sweet boy. 